Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for Heyday and Heyday Pop videos. Now for today's video I'm going to be focusing on Heyday Pop with an emphasis on looking at the diamonds that you can get within the game. Now as you're working your way through the game you'll get rewarded diamonds for certain aspects. Now those diamonds do build up and they can be very very nice indeed because you can actually use them for doing certain things. Now, one of the things you can do is to spend those diamonds. So if we come on up to the actual diamond icon and click on it, it will open up the shop straight away. So there we go. And it takes me straight down to the diamond offer pack where you can purchase the diamonds. So if you wanted to, you can actually spend real money and buy these diamonds. So if I wanted to expand my diamond count there by another 6,800, it would cost me basically 55 euros down there because my account's set up for Finland at the moment. There's also other packs down there as well. Nice little truck load, a bath load, a, like a, a cart load, a bucket load, and maybe a handful of diamonds as well. If you slide on up to the top, you can see some other purchases as well. Uh, and in this case, you're spending real money again on items within the game. And you'll see that those mega packs there give you extra lives, they give you the mechanics, and they give you boosters as well. So you can get the watering cans, the paint brushes, the hammers, popcorn, you can get dynamite, you can get rockets, and extra goes as well. So actually, those mega packs are not so bad either. You've got gardening packs down there, you've got breakfast packs as well. But as I said, my main focus is what do the diamonds do? Now, sometimes when you're playing a game, you'll run out of lives. And it will say, do you want to spend diamonds for more lives? You might run out of moves. Do you want to spend diamonds for more moves? Do you want to spend diamonds for toolboxes? Well, why not do it early? So you can see down there, I can buy 5 lives, 10 lives, or an extra 15 lives there for 200. I can buy 5 extra goes, move tokens down there for uh, basically 500 diamonds as well. And I can also spend 120 diamonds on a toolbox and get some more pieces. So let's go through those and see what they do. Now the first one, toolboxes, 120 diamonds. We're going to tap on it. And it says, would you like to buy the toolbox? Well, what's inside? If I click on it, it says get a bunch of tools and boosters to help you in the puzzle. Okay. Okay, well, let's go see what it is. 120 diamonds, and we get to open a toolbox. Now, in this case, I've got three items, so I'm going to be getting myself a hammer. Very nice indeed. Great for actually breaking those blocks when you want to clear one away. I get myself an extra rocket as well. Very nice. I've got 10 of those now. And also got myself a stick of dynamite. So that takes me up to three. So three wonderful items there for a specific amount of diamonds. So 120 diamonds for three items. Worth it. Mm. Still to be decided. Still to be decided. I'm not sure yet if I'm ultimately satisfied with that one. Okay, right, next one down there is the move tokens. So what I can do again is to spend the diamonds on the move tokens. There's 500 there for an extra five goes. So that's basically 100 diamonds for one. So let's go and click on it. And it says there that you will get an extra amount of moves for basically diamond. So five lots of five moves. That's not so bad. I think I'll take that one as well. There we go. Bang, 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 bang. Added to my kitty. Very nice indeed. You can now see five at the top. Now, if I look down there, it says that my heart counter is full up. Now, what I can do is to spend 100 diamonds on 5, 170 on 10, or 200 diamonds on 15. So, if I look at the actual value there, uh, it's much, much cheaper with the more hearts that you buy. So, if I buy 15 hearts there, which is 15 extra goes, uh, in case I lose a life, that's 200 diamonds. So, that's a nice little deal. So, let's click on that one and see what happens. There we go. So, it says down there, out of lives gets some more there's no limit on how many lives you can have that is true so 200 for 15 and that will take me up to 21 in total so click on that one purchased and look at that beautiful indeed now i've left with 755 diamonds and that is perfect indeed now can i buy anything within the shop for the diamonds basically no everything that's available in the shop at the moment is coin based so you can only really use your diamonds for those extra items i've just shown you so if you are looking to pick up a few extra goodies and you've got loads of diamonds spare you're not sure how to use them why not grab yourself some extra lives why not grab yourself some extra moves why not grab yourself some extra toolboxes uh, they can be very beneficial indeed in fact while i'm here let's go do a few more toolboxes let's see what we get open that one up and what's it going to be Ooh, a paintbrush i like that Ooh, popcorn very nice indeed 56 now and ooh, look a nice little rocket that's very cool indeed so a little bit different on this one 
and very nice indeed let's do it again another 120 diamonds we take that one down there look at that what's it gonna be oh look at that one one of the watering cans oh my god one of the hammers as well and one of the rockets very nice i like that as well I got 500 diamonds left. Should I save them for the move tokens or should I keep them for emergencies? I'm going to keep them for emergencies. You never know if I'm going to need them. So that's it, everybody. That's what you can spend your diamonds on. You now know that they can be used for a couple of different things. Why not play the game and why not use your diamonds before you go into the game so you can build up your storage with the items you need to move through those puzzles. Okay, that's me, Red, signing off. See you next time. Take care, have fun and good spending. Bye now.